So we have the It Girl, the 90s It Girl hairstyle. Okay, welcome back to my channel and back to my bathroom. Um, today I'm very excited because I'm finally getting around to doing an in-depth hair care tutorial, hair care routine hair routine, whatever. You guys know the drill. So I'm going to do this in-depth routine with you guys showing you all of my products that I use. And so this is kind of everything that I do in one video. So I hope you guys, you know, take something from it. Before we get started, I always start my day with my Hair to Men gummies. These are vitamins that promote longer, stronger, thicker hair. It has vitamin C, turmeric, zinc, all of the things that your hair needs to grow and be healthy. So I'm going to take two gummies and then I'm gonna hop in the shower. Gummy. Okay, I am refreshed and showered, feeling good. Today I didn't condition because I'm gonna do my K18 hair mask because it's well overdue. And so I just shampooed with the uh, Olaplex shampoo. I always recommend brushing from the bottom to the top. This is where we're at, and I'm going to put in my K18 leave-in hair, hair repair mask, and then you're gonna leave it for four minutes. So, I do this like once every week, sometimes every other week, so that's just gonna keep your hair healthy. I never know what to do in these four minutes. All right, all right, all right. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my Olaplex number six. This is just a heat protectant. I put about that much in. You really don't need much. Um, and you don't want to put it close to your roots because it will make it oily, especially if you're prone to oily hair. Okay, and then next I'm going to put in some oil. I'm using the bread oil. So I'm just going to do a few drops. Again, keep it at my ends. So people always ask me like, how do you keep your hair healthy? This is my top thing. Use a heat protectant. You don't need like a $40 heat protectant. Just something so that it doesn't, you know, you're not just putting heat on your hair bare. Hmm. Next and very, 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 very important. This is mousse. I use Shuomura All Volume Mousse. I mean, I, I load this crap up. I think that mousse is such a good styling tool. This is gonna be what keeps my curls intact and it's gonna give me volume and whatnot. So yeah, that is my beginning products to my at-home blowout. Okay, so the next part would usually be to rough dry your hair, but instead I just went to go get tacos. You don't want your hair to be soaking wet and you don't want it to be completely dry. So my hair is still a little bit damp, which is perfect. But I'm just gonna go through and kind of rough dry it a little bit, so. Now for my bangs. A lot of people ask me what I do for my bangs and it's really super simple. It took me a little bit to get used to it, so you might have to kind of try different things, but this is just what works for me. So I'm going to take my hairbrush and my blow dryer and I'm going to blow dry my bangs this way and then the other way like this and then down and then I put them in a roller and they are perfect. So I'm going to do that. And I use the smallest one, so it's about this big. Next, I'm going to section off my hair. If you section your hair before you start doing it, it's gonna be a lot faster and it's gonna be a lot neater. So, a lot more neat. I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, I section off my mohawk section. It's literally where you would have a mohawk. That's pretty self-explanatory. Okay, and the very last section. Next, we are going to put in some curls. I use, I've been using the Dyson. I don't think I mentioned that yet, but I've been using the Dyson. I'm going to take a little piece, and if you have a Dyson, here is a little tip on how to use it. Grab it from the center, hold your Dyson here, turn it on, kind of wiggle it, 
and it'll suck in right there and then you can let it go and roll it all the way up. You'll see what I mean. And I don't hit the cool shot because the cool is going to happen when my hair is in the rollers. Okay, so that's gonna be our first roll. When I'm putting the roller in, I'll first brush through my hair just to get it smooth. This kind of prevents your hair from ripping out when you take out the rollers. And very neatly, put her in. I always have to clip these up, or I said that I think, but add a little clip, that sucker's not going anywhere. So we're gonna move on to this side. I always put my rod, and you can use a regular curling iron as well, and just roll it up in the same way. But I'm going to use my rod and put it horizontal and curl underneath. Yeah, I don't know, I hope I'm explaining everything well. I don't know, we're just gonna, I mean, I'm trying to just show you also. Okay, so we've got the shape in there, and while it's hot, we're gonna put in our roller. Remember to brush it through, flip her up. All right, and there's our first two rollers. So now, what I was telling you before, we just take out this section and I split her in the middle and she's ready to be curled. So now, moving on. And I actually was a hairstylist before I became a mom slash content creator. I don't know what to call myself, but before I became a mom, I was a hairstylist. So I kind of have, well, like, I don't kind of, I do have a lot of experience in the salon. I only did it for about three years, but still that three years made a huge difference. I learned a lot, you know, I worked on a lot of different hair types. So just like comment any questions that you have because I just, I hope I'm covering everything, but I probably will forget a thing or two. So, and yeah, moving on to the other side. And this piece back here, I can't really reach it this way, so I'm gonna put on the other top, and so that way I can go like that. Okay, next section. When you're putting in your rollers, oh, I gotta bend down. Put them in and like raise them up, and that way when you roll them up, they will have volume already in there, especially at the root, because you can see my roots right here are lifted, so they'll cool lifted. Hope that made sense. <laughs> okay, working on our mohawk section. So what I'm gonna do is switch my Dyson to the round brush attachment. You can use just a regular round brush and a blow dryer. That's how the people at the salon do it. But I'm gonna use this one. You can also use a Revlon brush, whatever you have. And then we're just gonna brush up and then twist it down, hold it for a few seconds, put it in a roller, voila. So I'll show you how I do that. Let me lift my camera a bit so you can kind of see. Okay, and then you can just pull it out. I like to twist it out to make sure it has a curl in there. Take your roller, and again, we are going to point your hair straight up to the sky, because that's where we want our roots, right? And roll it up like that. The last. Roly poly oly. <laughs> I'm insane. I can't believe I actually do this every time I style my hair. Anyways, this is the finished 
look with the rollers. So a lot of people ask me, how long do you keep your rollers in? I don't really time it, but just get ready, do whatever you gotta do, and then take them out. I mean, I would say like 10 minutes would be great. So I'm about to do my makeup, but before I do that, I want to spray these so that they have some hold to them. I'm using Amika Undone Volume and Matte Texture Spray. Put it all over. Yay! So, yeah, I'm gonna do my makeup, come back, unroll these bad boys, and call it a day. Okay, so makeup's done, so let's take these suckers out. I'm excited, this is my favorite part of the whole freaking process. Here's the first one. She's a beauty. Next one. Look at that. These front pieces are always my baby. Whoop. It's already turning out gorge. Obsessed. Sometimes I can twist them out like that just to give them a little bit more definition. Cute. You guys already look at the volume, look at the curls. It's giving 90s. Oh, you guys, nothing hits better than taking your rollers out. Taking out this bad boy back here. Whew. Now it does look intense at first, okay? But it'll calm down and look great. And sometimes I do have to touch up my bangs, but it just depends on the day, kind of. But I think these look okay. Now see, they're a little bit too round, so I usually just go in with my blow dryer and just blow dry them down just a little bit. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Okay, and then I always do a little bit more texture spray. Shocker. <coughs> okay. Give it a 360. Here's the side. And the back. I never know what the back looks like, so I hope it looks decent. Yay! So we have the It Girl, the 90s It Girl hairstyle. But I hope that this was a helpful video. I hope that you guys, you know, like the hairstyle. I don't know. I just wanted to give you guys like a good tutorial. I don't know, I always am like, a different person when my hair is done because look how cute right make sure to subscribe follow my tiktok i'm going to link all of my socials at the bottom as well as all of the products that i used so you can just find them right here and not have to search and yeah that's that's it you guys so i will see you next time and yeah love y'all